DB5 has been reimagined from the ground up, offering unparalleled speed, performance and ease of use. With a streamlined visual builder and completely overhauled backend, building websites with DB5 is faster and more intuitive than ever. Whether you are a seasonal web designer or a beginner, DB5 will help you create stunning sites in record time without sacrificing time or creativity. So in this video, we are going to talk about 10 tips for building website faster with DB5. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB page builder. Now keep in mind that this version is still in public alpha phase and it's still in active development. While you might encounter a few bugs, the tips outlined in this video will help you maximize your efficiency as you test and build with DB5. So let's begin with the point number one and that is utilizing one click editing. Now in DB4, we have to click on settings icon to change sections, rows and modules. But now in DB5, that's all gone. Thanks to one click editing. You can click anywhere within the module and edit it, making the design process less frustrating and much faster. So let me show you how it looks. So here we are inside DB5 Visual Builder. We have imported a sample site here. We no longer need to click on the settings icon here and then dive into the content settings. We can simply click on this module and then we can start typing anything here. So this is how easy it is now. Number two, right click for quick actions. DB5's right click content menu adds a powerful new shortcut to your design workflow. By right click on any module, section or row, you can access a quick action menu of some common actions, whether you want to copy module style, duplicate settings or delete them. This feature lets you perform tasks quickly without opening multiple panels or searching through settings. Now if you come back here, if we right click on any of these modules like this one, here we can see some quick edit option like edit heading, duplicate or delete heading and a lot of more. Similarly, if we click on any other module, we will find the similar options depending upon what module we are working on. Number three, dock multiple tab panels for multitasking. Another great new feature of DB5 is multi-panel docking, which allows you to open and manage multiple panels at once. In previous versions, you could view more than one panel, but you could only move them around the canvas so they didn't block your view. In DB5, you can tap panels to keep the canvas clutter free. Number four, canvas scaling for responsive design. Now DB5 introduces a brand new way to design web pages responsively. With canvas scaling, you can easily scale your workspace and preview how your website's going to look on various devices without leaving the visual builder. Canvas scaling allows you to instantly resize the design canvas, letting you adjust margins, paddings and overall layout. Number five, instantly apply hover or sticky effects. DB5 makes adding hover and sticky effects to your designs easier than ever. In previous versions of DB, we have to navigate to the design tab of modules and dig deep down into the settings to apply hover or sticky effects. But in DB5, you can apply these effects directly from the settings panel. This new approach makes it easier than ever to create dynamic, engaging designs without interrupting your workflow. So let's say we are done with the designing of our page and now I want to see how different elements are going to perform once I do the mouse over it. And with DB5, we can do it really easily. All we need to do is just head over to this icon right here on the top right corner. And then if we click on this, here we have an option for hover. If we click on this and now we can see or edit the hover effect for any module on this page. For example, for this page, if I click on this, for this column, so instead of white, maybe I want to change it to a little bit gray, something like that. And then if I just come back here on the desktop version again, and then click on preview to see how it looks in the front end. So now if I mouse over on my module, this is how my hover effect will work. So once I have selected the hover option here, now I can go ahead and edit any module on this page and customize its hover effect. So you don't have to select module again and again. 
when you are working on different module on the page. And this is a real time saver. Number six, use breadcrumbs for effective navigation. DV5 has a new breadcrumb feature that allows the users to navigate modules and settings faster and more intuitively. Breadcrumbs act as a visual path that shows you exactly where you are in the settings, allowing you to move between different layouts without getting lost. Now let me show you how it looks. Now on this page, if I go ahead and click on this, text here. On the right hand side, we can go ahead and edit all the settings about this text. But in order to change any settings for this column here, I can simply go ahead and use this breadcrumb on the very top right corner. So right now we are inside the settings for this text module. So we can jump on to the column and then see all the settings for that. I can go ahead and select row from here and then it's going to show us all the settings related to this row. So again, let's try it for this section. If I click on this text here, right now I can see the settings about this text module. And just above our settings panel, we have these breadcrumbs. So if I want to edit the settings about my column, so I can click here. If I want to edit settings about this row, I can click here. So this is how I can navigate through the nested design. Number seven, save time by copying and pasting style different modules. In DV5, you can easily copy and paste modules between different elements. This allows you to quickly apply the same design settings across multiple modules, ensuring consistency throughout your site while saving time. You can easily copy style from any module, row, section within DV5 and then paste those styles throughout the design. Number eight, utilize wireframe view for complex layouts. With DB5's wireframe view, stripes away a page visual design element, leaving behind a clean simplified outline for your layout. This view lets you focus solely on structure without being distracted by colors, fonts or other visual elements. This one is especially useful for complex layouts where you need to quickly adjust the structure. Number nine, using the layer view for long form content. Now the layer view outlines your page sections, rows and modules. This makes it easy to see the entire structure of your layout at a glance. Instead of scrolling through the visual builder to find specific section or module, you can easily locate it in the layers panel. Number 10, embracing the learning curve. Now DB5 introduces an entirely new way to work with visual builder. With all of these powerful updates comes a learning curve. It's natural to feel a bit overwhelmed initially, especially if you are comfortable with previous version of TV. But the good news is that all the changes we have introduced in the builder are intuitive. So familiarizing yourself with the interface will pay off in a faster, more efficient way to build websites with DV. So go ahead and download DV5 public alpha today and try it yourself. Now just to mention once again, this current release is only an alpha version. There are bound to be bugs. So we encourage our users to report anything that they find that doesn't work as they intended. After all, we need your help to make DV5 the best it can be. Your feedback is critical to its success and will go a long way in molding the final product. So if you encounter any bug or if you have any feedback, then feel free to report that to our DV support team. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And to learn more about WordPress and DV, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.